Guys, I have like a top position over here. I'm gonna just circle to his back. I want it just now. Just run to his back. Imagine like a, a momentum. Imagine like you beat a momentum, you took the guy down, you try pass down on guard, and he just, you just like spin to his back. Means like a, you wanna take his back. If you go around his back, you don't wanna just keep looking. You wanna take his back, get the submission, get a seat belt, get the hooks. So you wanna take his back. You don't wanna just keep looking uh, around him. So we cannot always think like, I just gotta make him tap. I just have to go to the submission. You gotta uh, set up the path. You gotta make sure like it, you have like a smooth uh, path towards the submission. So you go to his back, the guy understands you on his back, he's not see you, you know, he, he definitely knows like he's, he's behind me, he's, he's going to my neck, he's definitely gonna protect his neck, but maybe before he protect his neck, he wanna prevent you, don't let you stabilize his back, don't let you like a lock a seat belt or something like this. And the best way, like the guy's not gonna stand up and walk away from you, you know what I mean, it's not possible. So usually someone that, uh, expose their back, they're gonna get their back on the mat. That would be like the first way to recover uh, your back, you know what I mean? Like, uh, can you suck to my back? Just get your back on the mat. Like, uh, sometimes roll sideways, sometimes roll forward, sometimes uh, gumby roll, I think. So, whatever gets your back on the mat. So, I wanna make him tap, but at the same time, I know he doesn't wanna to be making him tap. I know like uh, he doesn't want me to like, establish his back. So sometimes if I just think about I got a lock a seat belt <coughs> position. But the guy's good. He knows I'm coming to the seat belt. And of course like he already like start prevent to don't let me stay on his back. So as soon as I step to his back, I want to unstabilize him. I want to like make him lose like a little bit of like a, his coordination, his, his control. So for example, I have this. So as soon as I do this, I'm not only gonna lock the seat belt, but as soon as I do this, I wanna give a little bit of like a yank on him. A little bit of like a shake on him. So, so if he's going towards one side, he's just like gonna, he just get him off of like a, off control a little bit. So now doesn't seem like doesn't seem like a I can just lock a seat belt. You guys you can just lock a seat belt because he's just on his knees waiting for you. But when you go around and the other person as soon as I start going around, you can see his his hip already starts to elevate. It. And you know he's already start looking to get underneath something. So you, you must have that uh, sense of like a he's already like a avoiding his, it's not gonna just go there and like take his back. You, you're you gonna have to like uh, make him wait because he doesn't want to give his back. So let's get used to give a little bit of like a pull him, give a little bit of pushing. I, I shake like before you're able to get the, the seat belt. Now you don't need to do this, but you need that once you're in a live situation. So. You try past someone's guard. He start turning. He start turning. He notices he start turning. He's the one that decides turning. But you know he's not going to stay there. So get used to it. You got to go to his back. You got to make the seat belt. You got to make him tap. But before I have to slow him down. So I can continue with the plan. So get used to I'm I'm just imagine a position that like I'm, I'm start getting close to his back. Just pull him first. The pull can be one hand, turn around please. The pull can be one hand on the side, other hand uh, a little bit lower. Can be a gip, just a little pull over here. Depends on the pass, maybe you have his lapel, maybe you have the back. Depends on the pass, depends like how you start getting that, you know. You can just get over here and give a little bit of yank. Like for example, um, can you pull guard on me please? Like for example, you start passing, you start going. So, depends where you come from, maybe you're gonna have a different grip. Maybe you're just gonna have the grip on his hip. Maybe you're just gonna have the grip on, on, on the back of his neck. So, depends what kind of grip you have. Let's get used to 
pull the other person, but if you can drag him out of the position. You want to just kind of give him a little bit of like a shake. So if he's, if he's preparing to roll, you just kind of like a, take him out of like a, his comfort zone. So let's, let's try to get your mind set from, from this position, from here. So if we're able to build that, build that memory like a, uh, from everywhere, like you, you're getting on his back. So give him a little bit of like a shake. I think we're gonna be much, much more prepared to when you start get close to his back. Prepare to don't let the other person escape. Not that you can uh, not take his back, but just be more careful to like get him off of like a, his base before you get, get to his back. So let's just do this a couple times. So I go here, get a seat belt. If I'm not delaying my seatbelt grip. I want, I want to lock the seatbelt grip. But let's just get used to, maybe you're gonna have to do something of this before you get to the seatbelt. Sometimes not, but just in case like you have to, you're gonna be ready. Let's go try, guys. Okay. 